just saw how to import our images and videos into Adobe Lightroom. This tutorial is how to import them into Adobe Premiere Pro and how to create proxies so we can edit 4K on a laptop on the road. This starts the same way you always start a project in Premiere Pro. In this case, I have an existing project and I have organized my files here and or my basically my windows uh, for different tasks. So we're going to concentrate today on the assembly workflow. Very easily, I direct, I point Adobe Premiere Pro to my external hard drive, which is called Savarical Video 01. And inside that, I have my original footage and I can see here how all my assets are organized by date and camera. And the one we need to import is the 2016-09-09 Cam B. So I'm going to click here and it shows all the files very neatly and logically organized by date, time, location, camera, and sequence number. And Adobe Premiere Pro is excluding my raw files, which is great because I can only concentrate on video files in Premiere Pro and then very easily in Adobe Lightroom I can just sort by file type. I don't need to rename anything and it's not easy to batch rename things in Adobe Premiere Pro anyway but I want to create proxies. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna select all of them, Command A and if you see this little thing here my ingest settings are 1280 by 720 with a watermark and to leave the proxies on a specific destination and that destination is you might guess is the same external hard drive where I have my master files and uh, of a folder called original proxies so if we actually navigate to my hard drive you have my original assets here all the folders I have been creating in the past two weeks or so and then under original proxies I have all my proxies. Why this system? Well because proxies are what I call disposable. I'm gonna be working with the proxies and as soon as I'm ready to export Adobe Premiere Pro will access the master files and after a while I won't be needing these proxies anymore so I can delete even individual proxies or all proxies for that matter. I'm only opening these settings to show you what's behind the scenes but the criteria for the proxies and the naming and the location and everything else stays the same. So I'm gonna import and what that does is that it's gonna launch Adobe Media Encoder you will see it in a second jumping and opening and the proxies are not created in Premiere Pro the proxies are created in Adobe Media Encoder and it's gonna take a while and this file import failure dialog is not really a failure it's actually a good thing because it's Adobe Premiere Pro telling me that the RW2 which in this case are Panasonic GX85 files are not gonna be imported simply because the file format is not supported which is fine I'm totally happy with this because I don't want my stills uh, showing up on Adobe Premiere Pro the same way I prefer not to see my video files in Adobe Lightroom so I'm very happy with this and as we can go and check Ad Adobe Media Encoder is open and it's now creating my proxies. It's still adding all the files that we'll be, be working on and as soon as it loads all of them it will start automatically by itself like magic creating the proxies we want. And this process takes a while so my typical workflow is I shoot during the day all day and then when I get back to my location, Airbnb, hotel, apartment, whatever, download all my assets and I leave this working overnight. So um, in the morning I only need to check that the same amount of proxies or the amount of proxies created overnight match the amount of video files shot the previous day and, and I immediately back those up. And I briefly mentioned the watermark. I created a watermark called proxy. So I very easily can see if 
a file I'm working on is a proxy or the original 4K file. The process to create this watermark is not that hard, but it's far from user friendly. So I'm gonna cover that on a next tutorial if I hear from enough of you, if there are enough people interested in, uh, in knowing more about this. So that's that, that's the process to import files previously batch renamed using Adobe Bridge and importing them uh, into Adobe Premiere Pro and creating the proxies at the same time.